Look guys, in today's video actually I will be showing you how to model a bridge. I do have this river in my my project actually and I do have this uh, pedestrian road or like walkway let's say. Uh, so I just decided to put some bridges in these points. I, I think I will put in each intersection where just a river with uh, a walkway. So I will just make one and then copy it into the other places. So first I will just make some reference planes just to help me out while I'm drawing it. I will put the first one here and then the second one there but like i will just move them or just put them like until this point i will just make it the width of it will be like not that much i will put another two reference planes okay i think it's enough like it's good i think so i will just name them maybe i will just use this one i will name it as one or okay one and i will say okay I will put a section SE, I just put the shortcut of it as SE. So I will drag it until here just in order to see it. And I will just open it. As you see, it's here now. <coughs> I will be using a mass. I will go to massing and site. I will just make sure it's on. And then I will in I will put in place mass, say okay. I will uh, draw a symbol uh, arc. I will choose reference plane A and then from this point this is the benefit of actually of uh, reference planes until this one and then I will rise it up a bit let me see just I will go to 3d just to see to see it it's here it's too much I think let me just go to section 2 and then just drag it let me redraw in it I think it would be better I think it's something good yeah accepted I think so I will just say yes and I will sorry I will just edit I will just choose it and then create form I will go to level one and I will select it and then just select this this uh, edge let's say and then drag it until this point or under the reference plane which which I just put it and then say okay go to 3d okay this is our mass I will go to architecture and then curtain system select it and then say create system so uh, I'm thinking about just making as like two lines as the glass one and then the other like the sides will be just as concrete one so i will select it and then go to edit type put it as fixed number it's okay now so i will put grid i think it will be three yes exactly so i will just go to architecture and then mullion select all of them i just in order just to make something like a structure of this bridge so you could just use it as you want I will just create as all grid and then select them so I do have all the mullions here I will just select it again or select one of them I will go to edit type as you see I just uh, let me just just change the dimension of them maybe I will put it as 0 6 and then zero six and say say okay and i will go to the offset i will put it minus zero point one two say okay why i did this step actually in order just to make it as a structure as you see and now i will just select these elements or this panel let's say select this one select that one And then just make sure it's unbanned one uh, instead of edit type I will just go to solid one yep and then just you could also just select like this sorry we just move the AutoCAD file let me just bin it okay, and then click this one in order not to touch it so I will select all of them filter and then 
say apply okay now I'm selecting only the minutes I will put it as solid one so I do have these two solid and then I do have this as a glass one so the walkway will be as a glass one so this river actually I will be modeling it or just um, making it in uh, twin motion because it would be easier I mean and more realistic will be uh, I mean in during the render process actually I will be rendering something like today because tomorrow I have to submit it so it's okay I will just go to section 2 for the walls let's say I will be using just normal model in place and then generic model I could call it as a wall and then say okay I will just extrusion I could also select the reference plane A or sorry one and I will now just pick line let me see if I just this one yes I think it's okay let me see how it look it will look like actually and then I will just give it an offset of um, zero two or this it's okay or maybe we can use something else let me just try to make it now I will trim these parts and then just go and trim the other part okay and then okay go to 3d I think it will let me just rise it up as you see let me go to section and then just di for dimension okay i will just from this point until this one it's a huge one of course it, it will not be like this i will just drag it down maybe until one three sorry i don't want it to be like this i will drag it manually Yes, I will go to 3D. Actually, I, I like it like this, as you see. It's just something for protection. And then I will just go to level one. Let me just uh, try to copy it. Okay, and constrain it. I will choose this point and go until the end of it and just put it okay go to 3d yep i like it and uh, then i can i can just like use uh, avoid just to put something like here and then just put some lines or uh, some light on it so that's all about today